Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard, and if you can tell, hopefully you can tell, that I have my blue Yeti microphone back. I lost the cord to it um, for the past couple of weeks, so I've been using my other microphone, but Amazon's amazing, and I ordered a new one, and it got here, and yeah, so hopefully it sounded better than in previous voiceover videos, but I am back with another update of Super Nintendo World, this time from Epic Universe, the courtesy of Bio Reconstruct on Twitter. This is the second part to that long Epic Universe update I did before that I so much other stuff ha has happened. I wanted to do it back to back, but I couldn't, but here it is now. I know a lot of you have been asking for it, so I apologize for, de uh, for the delay. But here's an up uh, update or overview of the construction area for um, Super Nintendo World, including Donkey Kong over there to the right hand side. So let's get to it. And again, thank you, Bio Reconstruct, for getting some amazing photos um, from this as, as amazing chopper work. This uh, photo right here is of the store and potentially restaurant, um, a Nintendo themed store and restaurant that will be outside of the land's entrance into the hub area. So, again, if the land is at capacity or closed off, people can still go inside and buy Nintendo merchandise. It would almost function as the Super Nintendo World Store here in Hollywood does in City Walk. People, don't, people do not have to be inside the park, but they can still buy Nintendo merchandise. And just like the Super Nintendo stores, World Stores that are outside of the land itself, this will be just like that. Where you can go buy your Nintendo merchandise without being in the land. So that's nice. This one obviously is a lot bigger and purpose built. Other ones here in Hollywood you know, have been converted within existing stores here is the mario or not mario the yoshi track you can see that clear yoshi track that kind of yellow beige beige color going above what will be mount beanpole and you can see uh the entrance or exit to the attraction down below and yes this would be a nice omni mover ride akin to the secret life of pets we don't have that here in hollywood because we have the secret life of pets and because of lack of space we just kind of separated which is a smart move i'd rather have a secret life of pets than yoshi in my opinion but yeah and you can see the beginnings of peach's castle to the top of the picture right there which is pretty cool of course mount people is rising and very to the very left or right corner of the picture you can see the mario kart track and we'll see more of that uh, coming up in just a few seconds here. And here is the main entrance to Yoshi right here. You can see the Yoshi's Adventure kind of portal there. <laughs> Down below will be uh, the, ta the turntable for the load section of the attraction. And there is some track that, you know, that kind of white structure there. That is that track moving along. It will be the exact same layout and show scenes, number of show scenes as in Japan. And, um, yeah, should be a nice family fun attraction. Hopefully, it won't have tremendous amount of restraints. The one in Japan doesn't look like it has a lot of restraints and has cars big enough for everybody. So, hopefully, uh, yeah, it will be more accessible to all types of people. And you won't be kind of restricted down in the strain like you are in Secret Life of Pets, which... I still don't understand why that's there. <laughs> but yeah, it looks absolutely fantastic. And we'll add some nice kinetic energy to the land that will already have plenty of kinetic energy to, be to begin with. Here's an overview of the whole land. You see Donkey Kong to the bottom there. Mario Kart to the right with the tracks. You can see where the arrow is, that yellow arrow. You can see the p two uh two parallel tracks, dirt tracks now. Uh concrete hasn't or asphalt hasn't been laid but that is the mario kart attraction it'll be ra racing quote unquote side by side fighting against bowser and his friends trying to win the races you same race as you same type of ride system as the men in black attraction uh, a slow dark ride but an interactive shooting dark ride as well should be fun for the whole family and we'll have multi-hour waits i'm sure this area is really com uh, progressing compared to the re well, the re rest of the park is going very fast. But yeah, this area is definitely going so fast and maybe, just maybe, 
um, a soft opening could happen before the rest of the park. Uh, but I don't know that just just by the progress. I mean, look at it. There's lots of Donkey Kong track already. Lots of real track and false track has appeared at the Donkey Kong coast. So you can see it moving along right now. The vertical track is that false track and the horse. Uh, no, the real track and the horizontal track will be the one the false track that will break and mimic as you're jumping over and switching some fr some side to, side to side. This uh, attraction will have a couple of show scenes as well and will be uh, quite a fan favorite, I feel like. I mean, this is the ride system, the boom coaster ride system. It's very unique and I cannot wait to see the jumping from track to track in action uh, first in Japan next uh, next year, or sorry, in 2024. That will be super cool. And again, there's a fan made POV out there that looks very realistic and you should definitely check that out as well. You can see more of the false track of the Donkey Kong attraction down below. I'm doing a curving piece right over there. And up above, you can see one of the indoor sections of the Mario Kart attraction. This could be the Rainbow Road section or just a, uh, one of the different scenes here as it makes a curve along the inside the massive show building. That will all be covered up. You see all of it is under steel right now. So that when that steel is enclosed, you won't be able to see that. And again, it's still a dirt track. So they haven't paved the track yet. So it's very much in the early stages, but it's definitely very defined. This whole land and track is progressing very, very nicely. But what do you guys think of Super Nintendo Construction Progress and Epic Universe over in Universal Orlando? Mm -hmm. It's moving so fast, I cannot wait to see it done in just a few short years. The whole park should be open by summer 2025. Maybe some parts will open earlier and the soft open, maybe they won't. Who knows? But let me know in the comments below. Press that like button if you like this video. Subscribe for more theme park updates. And look out for some more new holiday merch coming soon. There's some Halloween merch you can still buy down below. But I'll be having a whole new holiday merch line coming up very soon. So check out, check that out and look out for that. As always, have a fantastic day. Bye-bye, everybody.